Elaine, can you can you tell our viewers what is the difference between a short sale and a foreclosure? Okay, let's do the foreclosure first. The foreclosure is that you have not been able to make your mortgage payment and you've not contacted the bank, you've not contacted a real estate agent, you just hope that all of this is going to go away and eventually what happens is you get a notice on your door that says your house is going to a trustee sale and you have 90 days to correct that or they are going to take your house. If you do nothing, in the 90 days, your house will be auctioned off at a trustee sale. That is a foreclosure. Once you do that, um, you have damaged your credit considerably. It will be five to seven years before you can purchase another home. I know once you lose a house, you probably say, oh, I never, ever want to do that again. But life changes, time changes. We go through bad times and we go through good times. And at the good times, home ownership is probably a nice thing to do. Go back to the short sale. A short sale is you know you're in trouble. Somebody has lost a job. There's a divorce. There's a transfer. There's one of many of life's occurrences. And you can just no longer keep it all together. So you put your house on the market, we identify the hardship, you have to de-qualify for your loan and get us all of the paperwork you would get when you're qualifying for a loan. We look to see if there's more outgo than income and if so, usually a short sale is going to be allowed by the bank. Short means that, say you owe 200, but your house is now worth 125,000, we are short $75,000. Um, it has nothing to do with time, depending on who your lender is. A short sale could take two months, it could take six months, it could take eight months, um, but it's going to take the time that it takes. There's not much that we can do to speed it up. It's a process that the banks go through. So if you do a short sale, if you are a veteran, within two years you can get a new loan. For FHA and conventional, it seems like three years from the date that the property was um, shorted out or sold, you can do a new one. And if you're sitting there saying, oh, should I short sale, should I wait? Uh, one thing that we don't know for sure, or right now we have the Tax Debt Relief Act, so that if you sold your house short and it was $75,000 short, you're going to get a 1099 for that and you can be taxed on it. Right now, the Tax Debt Relief Act says if it's your personal property, it's the home that you live in, and it's the original loan, the Tax Debt Relief Act forgives the taxes that you would have to pay on that. We are not sure if that's going to be renewed at the end of the year. Uh, we have a new Congress. We will have a new Congress by the end of the year. Possibly a new president, maybe not. But whether that will be renewed or not, um, you don't know. So there really is no time like the present. If you're thinking about short selling your home, to give us a call and we can see if it's something that might work for you. Thanks, Elaine. That's very informative. Thank you, Leonard.